Hello and welcome back to our May on Taxes campaign as Venice. Now, um, I've spoken to the devs about um, annexation cost and um, basically, the well, there was more than one problem. Uh, the first problem is I do not agree with their direction on how much it should cost. So, um, it's in the in the code. It says it's fifteen develop uh, fifteen diplo points per development to annex, and in my opinion, that's too high considering that uh, coring is ten, and I feel like it should be cheaper. Uh, the rationale for it being more expensive is because it takes uh, less uh, aggressive expansion and it's easier to expand via, you know, diplo annexing. Uh, sorry, diplo vassalizing people. Um, my argument against that was that um, these provinces are completely useless for me until I annex them. As we have Empire of the Romans as, you know, very friendly with us, 154 relations. Uh, they are still at 40% liberty desire despite that. Of course, you can make the argument that that's mostly down to uh, relative power of all vassals, and yes, it, it kind of is. But even so, uh, them at 68 development only give me 0.04 ducats. They have zero troops. They gain, what, like two troops um, when at war? They're kind of useless. Vassals are not useful. Uh, I've always felt that that was the case, and... Um, yeah, I'm afraid my opinion hasn't really changed on that fact yet. So, um, yeah, my argument is the vassals are useless and you have to wait a hundred years to integrate before you can, you know, start annexing them. So it's just a diplo point sink while you, you know, have too many diplo relations. That was my argument. Um, obviously, I'm not trying to convince anybody of that. I'm just saying that that is my feeling towards how these work. So what I've done is I have changed the game and maybe some people would consider that cheating. Honestly, I don't I don't much care. Um, so I've changed it to five points per development, which I believe is still higher than vanilla, but it brings it more in line with what I feel it's worth. So, uh, now the annexation of 68 development is 484 Diplo. Uh, one more thing, it is affected by corruption. So, all power costs going up, um, this is, this is affecting it. Um, so if I get my corruption down, this will also go down. It was supposed to be, um, we, we saw it at 1370, I believe, annexation cost. Um, it was supposed to be, if there was zero corruption, 990. Um, so, yeah, I mean, make of that what you will. If you, if you feel that that is good and acceptable and all that, then, you know, again, more power to you. But I personally do not, and I would rather have fun with playing this game rather than be frustrated by mechanics that I don't like. So, I've changed it. And that's all I'm going to really say on the matter. Uh, so let's unpause and let's keep going. All right. So I've also had a think about what I want to do with the rest of the land in like the Balkans area. And I'm thinking I would like more marches. So once I've taken all of the provinces that I want, um, Constantinople, Chalcedon, Dici, Eboia, Magnesia, etc. Um, there's land that connects these that won't be owned by me. What I'm thinking of doing is more Croatias, basically. Like a Bulgarian march It's in this region. Maybe you have a Macedonian march over here. Um, not sure what I'm going to do in the Ottoman territory. Um, maybe we won't have a march. Or maybe, you know, Cilicea down the south or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe Trebizond. Trebizond might be cool. Have a big long Trebizond up here. But that's basically my idea. Um, I would like to know your comments regardless of whether or not you can change my opinion, which you're probably not going to be able to, but, you know, I would like to see your opinions anyway, so uh, feel free to share those. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that, basically. Um, the closest person we have to being able to annex is the Knights. 
Uh, at the moment, we're just uh, we're diverting trade, and if we don't do that, there are 18 Liberty Desire. Um, when uh, when you annex, it adds 35 Liberty Desire to them, so you'd need to get them to 15 or lower to start annexing. It's kind of difficult, uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get them. It's all, it's all good. Um, I have been thinking of doing proxy war against some one province miner and losing to them. And in the process of losing, I would release Ragusa. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than breaking vassalization and losing 25 prestige. I don't really want to lose 25 prestige. It's, it's kind of shitty. So maybe we'll just lose to somebody. Obviously, I'd have to siege them out. And um, I would get some money that way, but yeah, that's that's my idea there. So we need to find out who we want to attack. You're allied only with Teak down here. You're also allied with Teak. You're allied with this guy and this guy. Yeah, it looks like Sarahan would be a decent target for this. And thankfully, we have a CB against them. So how about we start shipping our troops over to Ionia? First off, we'll, we'll do a hop, skip, and a jump over there, because I don't want to take any unnecessary attrition. Because attrition is bad, and uh, we don't want to deal with it. So I think, first off, we drop them over in Achaea. We should be able to get everyone over before the end of the month, I hope. Uh, let's start uh, building a spy network on him as well. Uh, we might not actually be able to get there in time. Because you're going to arrive on the 27th. Yeah, you need to stay there. But you do still need to go back. Yeah, see, it takes like a month to get my dudes. Even one sea tile over, so... Definitely worth uh, paying attention to and not losing attrition when you don't need to. These cores are almost finished, which is fantastic. Yeah, losing Ragusa as well is going to basically give us one Diplo point a month because we're over our Diplo limit and uh, I don't see that ending at any point in the near future. So let's deal with that, shall we? Recruits and Liberty Desire, it's just, it's just annoying. And the, even with, you know, everything that I can do to make them happy, that historical rival um, is just, it's too damaging. Because not only does it lower opinion and makes it harder to get their opinion up, which would lower Liberty Desire, it also just gives a flat 10%. It's very, very difficult to deal with. But I can just release him and then attack him and take the province for myself. Or, no, no, just take it, just take it. I don't want to give it to anyone else. It's mine. Do we have a leader? Jacobo Laraden, but you're not my dude. Eh, uh, be nice if, uh, you know, we had a bit of um, shock, but uh, you know what, whatever, it's it's fine. If, if you don't want to give me any shock value, that's I'm just going to have to deal with it. Improving relations with Silicea. Okay, fair enough. Let's return you. And in February, we'll start shipping our troops over, and probably the 1st of March, we will attack. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. And now this one, I should be able to get over in time. Like it's, it's not a sea tile away, so it should be too, shouldn't be too difficult. 4,000 troops that we have to kill in the hills. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, we're going to be able to do it just fine. Don't really know if there is any reason to wait till the 1st of March, but it's the 1st of March now, so fuck it. Teak will join. There's no way we can stop that. And uh, yeah. Let's go to war. Let's take our boats out, and let's just see, actually, in a month's time, if we can just um, end the war immediately. Because that would be the best option. I, I'd rather not go to war here. Austria declared war on Hungary. Ooh, interesting. Well, Hungary did have that nasty um, bankruptcy, and 
Serbia kind of took advantage of them. So it's only fitting that Austria would also take advantage. All right. Um, one month's time. We need to wait. We'll strongly encourage looting. Yes, we're in an offensive war and that sucks, but what are you going to do? So it's on the first that we'll have to wait till. Come on. Right, if I offer you tribute, cancelling the subject of Ragusa, you will accept. Um, yeah, so it's one prestige versus 25 prestige. It's not really any contest, in my opinion. So Ragusa is no longer our vassal. Also, yeah, it costs him Diplo. So uh, thanks for spending Diplo on that. Now he hates because we declared war on him. Quick war. Um, I, I feel like it was worth it. Let's get everyone over to Magnesia. Actually, are you going to be able to make it back? 27th? No, no. Uh, 4th of May. No, you're not going to make it back. So we'll wait until the next monthly tick. It's it's It pays to be frugal in this situation. There's no reason not to be. Let's take you back. We don't need you there anymore. What I do need is a claim upon this fella. So we'll start fabricating on Ragusa. It's probably going to take us about five years to get the claim. That's how long the truce is. Uh, no, it's actually... 1409. That's 15 year truce. Oh, hello. Pagan poetry and Christian ethics. Well, I do say I do like the idea of plus 100 admin points. We run the risk of being excommunicated. I, I don't particularly like that idea. Or we could go with uh, getting rid of religious controversy. Religious controversy, if we have a quick look. I'm going to have to go through them all. I don't know which one it is. Religious controversy. Oh, there it is. Uh, negative 20 stab increase interval. Yeah, it's worth it. Get rid of that shit. I mean, it's still plus 50 stab, which is, you know, worth it in and of itself. So, yeah, let's just get to Athens. Get our troops back up to strength. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Ducats, I want more of them. Ducats are nice. Weren't we planning on another attack against the Ottomans? They've got no allies. We could humiliate rival and just go after Urfa again. There's no truce. Yes, yes, that is what we were doing. That is precisely what we're doing. And five ducats in uh, uh, income is quite nice as well. I like it. It's very, very sweet. Also, getting this back over 40, uh, 50 power projection would also suit me down to the ground. I wonder, Naples, you don't owe me favors, but the dude is your bloody rival, for God's sake. We've only got three favors right now. Uh, we'll get them eventually. Again, I don't plan on taking any land. I just want his money and I want, you know, a bit of uh, power projection, maybe a bit of prestige, war reps, all that good stuff. Just lots of money. Money is, you know, really, really useful. And I am in favor of having more of it. I think I should be able to net about, you know, maybe 500 ducats here. No, maybe, maybe call it 300 ducats because uh, we're probably going to get these guys offering access again, and we'll have to peace out early. Alright, so uh, August, I think, let's uh, let's attack. You never know, maybe the uh, Anatolian miners will, will feel a bit uh, brave and attack with us. Uh, so we're going for Urla. We have a claim, conquest claim. We also have a core claim. But we're going to go with the Conquest Claim. Because why not? Uh, those are... Yeah, no, we'll go with the Conquest Claim. Uh, allies won't join in, but that's fine. Let's declare the war. Siege of Erla shouldn't take too long. 
work on integrating subjects. That's probably not going to happen very easily. 41% chance. Tell you what, when that's over 50%, we're, uh, we're going to try it. So you're going to take 16 days, which is before the end of the month, which is fantastic. And Orthodox Church, uh, you know what? I will allow that construction. And we will strongly encourage looting. And my boats can go and murderify those guys. Also, you need a an admiral. It's fucking expensive. But it's probably worth it with that four um, maneuver. Four maneuver is real nice. So, we can't get a full blockade, but uh, we might need to bring in these boats like we did before. So at the moment, I can't access either of these guys, so that's good. Let's get these boats to start blockading as well. It's going to cost us a little bit of ducats while we uh, wait. Still no access. We can get one boat away. Yay. Oh, shit. Mm. Well, we're at 10%. He won't peace out, though. Fuck. <laughs> Am I screwed here? Grass Hills. I feel like I can win in the Grass Hills if I have a decent uh, general. So... Greater Nobles. I would like you to give me... A general of merit. One one shock. Fucking yay. Good good job there, buddy. I suppose they only have one shock as well. That's do or die, fuck it. Why not? Let's go for it. Hmm. Royal of Armies plus ten percent. Yep. Uh, but I don't have that morale yet, so we should wait until the next month. 2nd of October, arrive. Yep, that works for me. Come on, move your ass. There we go. Full morale. Uh, Ottomans are on tech 9. We are on tech 10. Uh, yeah, I feel like we have the advantage here. Uh, military... Army quality comparison with war enemies. Uh, they have a discipline advantage, we have a morale advantage, they have a professionalism advantage, and a tradition advantage. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say that their army is probably better than ours. Maybe we have some pip advantage. I mean, we have special troops. So I think probably these we got at. Uh, I, I don't know what tech we got these at. Tech seven, yeah, we don't have a pip advantage in the in the infantry, but you know what? Let's go for it. Let's roll the dice. They have a negative one. They are flanking us. Hopefully, the knights will raise some troops to help. Come on, come on! Oh, don't roll a nine, you dick. Yeah, this isn't going. This isn't going spectacularly. And by not going spectacularly, I mean it went fucking piss poorly. Hmm. That was shit. Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, can we have some friendly troops supporting over here? Like, you've got boats. You've got boats. You've got boats. Give me them blockades, you bastards. Supportive. I want your troops. Yeah, look at all the help that my vassals are giving me. How fucking glorious. They are so useful. Not. Let's try and siege Izmit. It is blockaded, so that's great. Yeah, and their boats are doing jack shit. Like, it's, it's not even funny. They're doing nothing. That fell ridiculously quickly. 
They'll almost accept a white piece, and uh, to be honest, I'm kind of considering taking it. We can't even siege this. It's it's too high level for us. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're probably able to accept a white piece now. We're not getting anything from this war. No war reps. No money. We don't even have... Yeah, let's peace out. Fuck it. This was a failed venture. Hmm. Well, back to the drawing board. But uh, the drawing board will have to come in the next episode because for right now... I mean, I got nine ducats. Sorry, 4.8 ducats. So, yay. Yeah, that was, that was totally not worth it. Um, yeah, so... As I said, that will have to wait until the next episode, because for right now, we shall be taking a short break here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.